Okay, in this video, we are going to continue with the product rule. You will find this on page 474 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point where X is equal to 1. Again, if you cannot recall tangent and differentiation, first go back to chapter 6 and first revise it. Or, let's just follow in this example. Okay, so first find the y coordinate if x is 1. Why will we need it now? Because we don't only want to find the gradient, we want to find an equation. So we're going to need the x and the y, and we only have the x. So substitute that into the original equation. I, I didn't differentiate it. I'm just trying to get the Complete coordinate point. Now, find the derivative function and the gradient at the point where x is 1. So I differentiate. It's again the product rule. Rewrite the first bracket, differentiate the second, rewrite the first, second bracket, differentiate the first. And again, it's chain rule. Okay, so I first differentiate the outside. And then multiply, differentiate the inside. And just take note, it's negative 1. Okay, because if I differentiate that inside, it will be negative 1. Again, the outside, differentiate the inside. Okay, and then I just rearrange. If I rearrange this, just take 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, there is just a 4, so that, that is going to be all right. And I rearrange, and again, rearrange your brackets, that's it's the same. Because then it's easy to take out the common factor. Again, look for your brackets. Can you see there's x plus 1, and what's the smallest one? It's 3, that's why I take 3. Then 2 minus x, 2 minus x. What is the smallest one? 2, that's why I take 2. And then I just divide, I get this. Divide, I get this. I multiply, I add up my like terms. And I'm, I'm getting this. So when x is 1, if I substitute, I will get it's negative 60. I, I think, again, it was not necessary to rearrange. You could have just substitute there. Because um, it was not, because it was just finding the gradient. So I think that you could have left that out. So basically, and now if I want to find the gradient and um, at the tangent where the gradient is negative 16, I use this point and I use the gradient. And I just use this formula, I substitute, I substitute the point in and this will be the formula of the tangent. Okay, stop the video and do number 1 and 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number one, find the equation of the tangent to the curve. And let's first write down the function. Okay, again, it's the equation of the tangent. So I am, I'm going to need the coordinate point. That's negative 2, but I need that y value. So to find that, so first find, well, let's, let's write it here. Um, first find the y coordinate. If x is 1. So basically, I'm just going to substitute the 1 in there. And if I'm doing that, I'm going to get it. Um, oh, oh, it's not 1. It's not 1. It's negative 2. I, I was copying from there. Can you see? So this is going to be, if x is, do you see, negative 2. And now I'm just going to get my substitution correct there. 
and that is going to give me negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. So that is going to give me 8 minus, this is 4, multiply, so it's negative 4, 1 minus 2 plus 4. And that is going to give me 4, and 4, it's 5, and it's 3. So it's going to be 12. So therefore, the point will be negative 2 and 12. Okay, but now I must differentiate. So if I differentiate, I'm just going to do it like this to find the gradient at that point. So if I differentiate, I rewrite the first bracket. I differentiate the second. So if I differ that is just a constant, it's just becoming zero. So it's one plus two x. And then I rewrite the second. And I differentiate the first. And I'm going to get, um, I think I, I don't have to multiply it out. I don't want. I substitute that negative 2 to find the gradient. And then I'm going to get, it's 8 minus 4. This is going to be negative, so it's going to be 1 uh, minus 4. Plus, this is going to be uh, 1 minus 2 plus 4. And it's going to be multiplied with 4. So this is going to be 4, this is going to be negative 3, plus this is going to be 4, 5, so it's going to be 3, and it's going to be 4. So it's going to be negative 12, plus 12, oh, and that's going to be 0, wow. So what is the gradient at the point uh, negative 2? It's 0, okay? And I want to show you now, I just want to move this. I want to show you, I'm going to do it, a lot of things will cancel out, but I'm going to do it the normal way. So, the equation of the tangent, If the gradient is equal to zero at negative two and twelve. Okay, so remember that's x1, y1. So if you use the formula for the gradient, it's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So it y in the place of y1, I put twelve. Now look what's happening. The gradient is zero, so x minus negative two. But do you see what, what is going to happen now? Interesting. So it's going to be y minus 12, but because this is going to be x plus two, but if you multiply with zero, it's zero. So y is just equal. So therefore, the, I can even say, therefore, the equation of the tangent will be y is equal to twelve. Interesting. It's it's just going to be a horizontal line. Okay, let's do number two. Let's make space.
Okay. Find the equation of the tangent. It's again the equation of the tangent. Can you see? To the curve at the point where the curve meets the y-axis. Oh, this is interesting. So where the curve meets, let's first write down the function. Number two. What is the function? I, I always start with the function the equation. Okay. Now, first find the point, the coordinate point where the curve meets the y-axis. So we can say, I like to make it yellow. Or y intersect, it will always be that the x will be zero. So if I want to see where the curve meets the y axis, so I'm just going to put in the place of x is zero, so And this is going to be negative 1. And this is going to be y is equal to negative 2. So therefore the point what will be the point? If it, if it meets the x value will, will be 0 <clears throat> the y value will be negative 2. This is important if I want to find the gradient. So now I must first find the gradient at the point where x is equal to 0. Just like x was equal to negative 2, x is equal to 0. But before I do that, I must first differentiate. So if I differentiate dy dx, rewrite the first bracket, differentiate the second. Mm -hmm. oh, I think it's all right. I'm just not going to need to simplify. So it's 3 x minus 1, and I multiply, I, oh, don't forget the 2, subtract 1, differentiate the inside, 1, plus, rewrite the second, differentiate the first. Oh, this is a nice one, it's just 1. So, if I simplify this just a little bit, I'm going to have 3, Okay, now at the point, so when x is equal to 0, then, you can keep on with the green, dy by dx equals 0 plus 2, 3, 0 minus 1 squared, plus 0 minus 1 to the power of 3. So 0 plus 2 is 2. Uh, this is going to be negative 1 times so it's 1, so it's going to just be 3. And this is going to be negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1. So this is going to be 6 minus 1. Let's just move it up a little bit. And that's going to be 5. Okay, so that's the gradient at the point, this point. So I can now find the equation of the tangent. So the equation of the tangent. Gradient, I'm going to write it shorter. Gradient equals 5 at point 0, negative 2. And I have to move up. Because what is that formula? Okay, don't forget, this is going to be, I'm going to just write, this is x1, y1. This is my gradient, so m is 5. 
So what is my formula? Y minus for the tangent, Y equals M X minus X1. So Y, so it's Y negative negative 2 equals M, it's 5 X minus 0. So it's Y plus 2 equals 5 X. And if I move it up, so therefore, I can have it right. Therefore, y is equal to 5x minus 2. And oh, I can even end up by saying the equation of the tangent. Is y is equal to 5x minus 2. It's not necessary, you can just end with that step. It's just for the video that I'm putting it in. Okay, and that's how we did it.